When it comes to lifting weights, there's a lot of noise out there. And frankly, a lot of it is just that, noise. You know the kind I'm talking about. Just do this one thing and you'll get shredded kind of noise. But let's be real, if it really was that easy, everyone would be walking around looking like Greek gods, but that's obviously not the case. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal to you the five pros and the five cons of lifting that you need to know if you're just starting out in your health and fitness journey or in your first one to two years of training. The pros are not only factual, but also from our own personal experiences from over nine years of training. The cons to lifting that I'll be covering in this video also have counter arguments to them, as I truly believe that these cons are nothing more than BS excuses society comes up with to cope with being weak, soft, and lazy. I guarantee if you stick around until the end of the video, you are going to have a completely fresh perspective on weightlifting. If you're just starting out as well, you'll gain the confidence you need going forward to smash all of your goals in the gym and achieve the physique you've always wanted. Now the first pro of lifting weights is straightforward and one that everyone will experience throughout their training and I myself have seen considerable progress in year after year and that's the increase of muscle strength. Lifting weights results in microscopic tears within your muscle fibers, which your body repairs during rest, resulting in a gradual increase in both muscle strength and muscular endurance. By incorporating resistance training into your weekly routine, you'll consistently place your muscles in a position where they're forced to adapt to the ever-increasing load that you place upon them. Whether you're using free weights, machines, or cables to train, you have the ability to isolate and work out specific muscle groups to achieve any physique goal that you set for yourself. For example, when I schedule a leg day and use the leg press exercise, I target the major muscle groups in my legs, like the quads, glutes, and hamstrings which builds my overall lower body strength. Some other lesser known benefits of weightlifting are its positive impacts on bone, joint, and mobility health. When you lift, stress is applied to your bones and joints, putting your body in a position to have to adapt to this stress by increasing bone density and strengthening the muscles surrounding your joints. Improved bone and joint health then reduces the risk of conditions like osteoporosis and decreases the likelihood of injuries both in and outside of the gym. This leads to better overall mobility, enabling you to perform daily activities with greater ease, reducing the chance of any discomfort. Thankfully, in all my years of training and coaching, both myself and my clients, there has never been any injury that's occurred from weightlifting. Yes, I could attribute this to smart exercise programming, but it's also due to the positive impacts that exercise has on our bones and joints. Now, weightlifting goes beyond building muscle and improving our functional health. When you lift, you're strengthening the muscles responsible for maintaining your body's coordination, balance, and stability. This then improves our posture, when doing something as simple as picking up the groceries, or when doing something more complex like balancing on one leg. This is because when we exercise, we strengthen the muscles in our backs, core, and glutes, which are all responsible for having an upright posture. A sign of poor posture is if you feel pain or discomfort in your back when sitting or laying down for long periods of time. Lifting weights relieves this pressure and discomfort that you feel throughout your body. Personally, I can work at my desk for hours without feeling any irritation, pain or stiffness in my body. Now for a pro to lifting, which should get more widespread attention. The relationship with mental health. When lifting, our body releases endorphins, which are 
natural mood enhancers. These endorphins then interact with our brain, reducing any feelings of stress and causing what I like to call the natural high. As a result, weightlifting is a very powerful way to combat common mental health challenges like anxiety and depression. Throughout my bodybuilding career, when I achieve a strength milestone or see physical progress in my physique, this boosts my self-esteem and my mental well-being. I've also found that this has a positive feedback loop, which gets me even more pumped and excited for the next workout. Now for the next major benefit of lifting is its ability to reduce risk of injury. When using the proper form and technique, you not only develop your muscles, but also your connective tissues. This fortifies your body and gives you a higher chance of withstanding potential damage or injury. By targeting specific muscle groups, lifting can also fix muscular imbalances, which, if left unchecked, can eventually lead to injury due to your body having to compensate. My balanced weight training routine is to thank for being injury free over the last nine years. As my body adapted to lifting, my routine also evolved to always stay one step ahead in preventing potential injuries that could arise from my gradual increases in load. Now, I'm going to dive into some of the cons that society has linked to weightlifting. When lifting without using proper form and technique or letting ego get ahead of you by loading excessive weights, this will no doubt lead to muscle strain, muscle damage or other injuries given enough time. Ego lifting is usually the main reason why people get injured in the gym. Seriously, it's common sense that if you lift beyond what your body is capable of, you're going to be placing unnecessary amounts of stress on things like your muscles, tendons and ligaments, increasing the chance of injury. My counter argument to this is simple. Stop trying to impress others. No one cares how much you lift. Lifting with your ego is not only self-sabotaging, but you'll also see less progress, which will just set you back in your own fitness journey. Understand that prioritizing form over weight is always the way forward. This next one is hailed as the main con of weightlifting, especially after intense workouts or when introducing new exercises into your routine. Personally, I think it's a positive, but it's something called the delayed onset of muscle soreness or DOMS. You'll usually experience this within 24 hours after lifting and in some extreme cases, up to five days after your workout. It's a feeling of soreness, stiffness and tenderness. Really, DOMS is a sign that your body is adapting to this new stress. However, it can feel uncomfortable to a lot of people and limit their day-to-day -day activities. My counter argument to this is again quite simple. Understand that DOMS is your natural body's response to microscopic tears caused by weightlifting. You can take steps to relieve this soreness by stretching, light walking, and by slowly introducing new exercises by increasing weights over time. Eventually, you'll become like me and actually crave this feeling. Another downside that's raised about lifting is the very steep initial learning curve that can be daunting to most people. This journey involves the safe and effective use of heavy weights and machines. The complex mechanics of lifting weights requires you to understand how to train specific muscles while avoiding strain on others. This steep learning curve can lead to frustration and a fear of injury, especially to beginners who haven't been coached or educated, which is usually the case for the majority. Look, understand that with any challenge in life, in order to overcome it, patience, persistence, and seeking the guidance of experts in a field is required. Investing the efforts and time in learning proper technique is well worth the long-term benefits of safe and effective weightlifting. 
whether that's from a health professional like myself or through your own self-education. Now, this journey also requires you to pay much closer attention to your nutrition, which for many people, for some reason, find this to be a con. Increasing protein intake is crucial for muscle recovery and growth. A balanced diet also provides the energy needed to fuel workouts and support overall health. For most people, these new dietary demands will require adjustments to their eating habits, which, by the way, are all positive changes. Those of you that are new to weightlifting will also need to consume more calories to accommodate for this increased energy that's burnt throughout your workouts. I believe it's a fear that people think you have to understand everything there is to know about macronutrients, micronutrients, and portion sizes that gets in the way of them starting in the first place. When in reality, social media has completely complicated the entire process. It is so much easier than what you've been led to believe. Trust me, all you need to know are the basics of calories in and calories out, and I guarantee you'll achieve success with your health and fitness goals. It's obvious that lifting weights boosts your physical appearance and strength. But the flip side to that is how it can sometimes create an unhealthy relationship with body image or through body dysmorphia. This is especially true when you begin comparing yourself to others. We each have our own individual goal and dream aesthetics. However, the con is in the belief that you look smaller than what everyone else sees, or when you begin comparing your progress to someone else's, leading to negative thoughts and self-esteem. You shouldn't forget that there's more to weightlifting than the physical benefits. Don't worry about anyone else's health and fitness journey, but your own. Yes, body dysmorphia is real, but you can win over those thoughts by comparing how far you've come since you first started through strength, physical, mental, and knowledge progression. Personally, I always remind myself that this is a lifetime commitment. This shift in perspective allows me to focus on the overall benefits of this journey rather than just the aesthetic goals. Now listen, I hope I was able to teach you some of the pros when it comes to lifting and that these cons are just BS excuses from society and social media. I hope I was able to give you a fresh perspective. If you learned something from the video, please give it a thumbs up, please give it a like. If you didn't like the video, no stress, just give it a thumbs down. And listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button because two times a week, I'm bringing you videos that will help you in your own health and fitness journeys, coaching you to become the best version of yourself. Finally, if you require additional one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can find the links to my website down in the description below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers.